Once you've connected your bank account to online banking in QuickBooks, QuickBooks downloads your recent transactions every day. Let's go over how to review the transactions downloaded from your bank and how to categorize them and confirm them so that your books are accurate. Go to Bookkeeping and select Transactions to get started. Note that we'll go over how to do this in Business View. You'll see a tick box for each bank and credit card you have connected. Select any of the boxes to see the downloaded transactions for that account. Here, you'll see all the transactions that QuickBooks has downloaded from your bank. The next step is to either confirm or review each of these transactions. When you see Confirm, it means that QuickBooks is suggesting a category for you. When you see Review, you'll need to tell QuickBooks what category the transaction should be in. Select the transaction to see more info, make any changes or add any missing details. You can change the category that QuickBooks suggests or, if there isn't a category selected, choose one that best describes why you spent or received the money. If the transaction is a sale, categorize it as income. Select the income account that you use to track these kinds of transactions. If you're recording a purchase you made, you usually categorize it as an expense. But if the purchase is something that you'll use over and over again for many years, like a vehicle or a computer, you should categorize it as a fixed asset. You won't see these often. If you don't see a category that works, you can add one here. QuickBooks will learn your categories over time, making this process easier. You can also split a transaction into multiple categories. Select the categories and add the amount for each. Just make sure it adds up to the total amount of the transaction. The Supplier Customer is optional, but it helps you run reports later to see who you paid or who paid you. If you don't know who the transaction was with, look at the bank detail. This is information sent from your bank that usually contains the name of who you spent money with. You can see more or less of this information by selecting the gear icon and then toggling on or off any of the fields you see. Once everything looks good, select Confirm. You might see some transactions that you've already recorded in QuickBooks or payments that you may need to apply to open invoices and bills. If QuickBooks detects that a transaction relates to something you've already entered, you'll see Record Found. This prevents duplicates. If the transaction you have in QuickBooks matches what the bank sent, select Confirm. However, if QuickBooks is wrong and the match is not correct, don't worry. You can select Categorize to add it to QuickBooks as a brand new transaction. Or, if you know you definitely entered the transaction into QuickBooks and the match is wrong, select Find Other Matches to match it to the correct transaction. Now you're ready to categorize transactions for your connected bank and credit cards.